here before us! Ah, uh, the power of my love for you allows me to do the impossible, my lady. And as you'll see, I've prepared pack lunches for all of you that far surpass this morning's offerings. I do hope you'll enjoy them. Um, th thanks. Um, we really appreciate you going to all the trouble to make these for us. True. That said, I'm really curious how you got here before us. It seems that the Reinford family's maid enjoys a little amusement at the expense of her employer. I imagine you transferred to an airship in the capital. Ah. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? You can cut the time from Heimdall to Ruhr in half if you travel by airship, I think. <laughs> you got me! I took advantage of the opportunity to borrow the airship's kitchen so I could make your lunches as well. They're quite fresh, so take a moment to savor the taste. <laughs> well, thank you. We really do appreciate all you're doing for us. Honestly, I knew you had to be up to something. You're not planning on coming all the way to the Nord Highlands with us now, are you? I'd love to, but unfortunately, I have some other business I must attend to. I may not be able to return to Trista for a while, either. Other business? Sharon will be assisting me with my work. Mum, mum, mum. Mother? Hello, Elisa. Ah, oh, you all must be members of Class 7. I'm Elisa's mother, Irina. Also the chairman of the Reinford Group. It's a pleasure to meet you. The, the pleasure is ours. I'm Reen, Reen Schwarzer. Uh, pleased to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. Gaius Warzel. Glad to make your acquaintance. Yusis Alborea. A pleasure. I'm glad you're all managing to get along with my obstinate daughter. I wish I could stay a while, but unfortunately I have work that can't wait. Come along, Sharon. As you wish, Madam Chairman. What? S seriously? You show up like this and that's all you have to say? It's always work with you, isn't it? You probably didn't even notice I left home until I was already gone. Now it's just, hello, Elisa, and that's it? My lady. I did get the impression her relationship with her mother wasn't all sunshine and gumdrops. It seems there's a lot of friction between them. You can live your life however you see fit. I have no intention of forcing the Reinford group on you. Even if you decide to follow a certain someone's path and cast aside all sense of responsibility, it's your choice to make. <clears throat> Besides, I still manage to keep myself informed of the general goings-on in your academic life in the monthly reports I receive from the Academy. What? I knew Sharon would relay back information about me, but reports from the Academy itself? Oh, you must not have known. In addition to my other responsibilities, I also sit on the Academy's board of directors. <gasps> oh my, that means... Just like Rufus. It does appear that way. I'd certainly deem the chairman of the Reinford Group a canny choice as a member of the board. Hmm. The Reinford Group is heavily involved in the development of the Orbal staff, as well as your Arcus. I must say, I'm quite pleased with the reports I've received on your usage of both. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of this month's field study as well. Do give me some good reading, won't you? Please excuse us, my lady. Take care during the rest of your journey. Elisa? You alright? 